up and you talk a little bit about walkers at bat uh, and sort of what you saw from his approach in that bat. Well, it's, it was a big league at bat at the right time. Um, we hadn't had much going on to that point, obviously. I mean, we had four zeros up on the board, we're down two, and then we, we get a little action, we load the bases, some discipline by uh, Sedanio to get a walk, and T-Bat to get a walk, and I think, what was it, a seven-pitch bat by Walker? And he caught it He caught it on the barrel, so it was a big swing of the bat for us. Like Clint, everybody sees the ball hit out on the street, but uh, Ronnie and Tabata's walk and Kevin's bunt. Can you speak to manufacturing the chance for Walker? Well, it, it plays into trusting the lineup, trusting the guy in front of you, trusting the guy behind you. I told Ronnie I was impressed. He just doubled his walk out, his walk total from spring <laughs> training. So. Um, and then for you know, Correa, we put an awful lot of emphasis on, on the pitcher's handle of the bat in the spring, as, as the people that covered our club well know. It paid us a dividend right there to get guys a second and third. And then for you know Jose to, to be disciplined at, the, disciplined at the plate and take the walk. You know, Many times you'll see younger players get outside the strike zone or expand because they want to be the guy. You know, we've talked long and hard about, you know, the pitcher gives you a chance to be the guy, then you be the guy. But if he doesn't, put the bat down, get on down the line, and let the next guy be the guy. That's that's pretty much what happened. Korea gave you everything you could hope for under the circumstances? Oh, without a doubt. Especially we didn't defend as well as we should have behind him. But he pitched very, very efficiently. Good mix. Kept the ball out of the middle of the plate. I don't think they had an extra base hit. Singles. Would that be correct? That's just off the top of my head. I don't probably keep as accurate as a game chart as you do. but. Uh, he pitched, controlled bats and pitched. Very, very uh, a good first outing for Kevin, for our ball club, put us in a good place in the game. You spoke about that being opening day and this being a hyped up game, but it's just one of 162. You know, how do you get them focused? Okay, enjoy this one, but we got you know a bunch more to play. Well, they're not 12. <laughs> They'll be okay. They need to enjoy a win. And and then there's a time when you take the shower. Then you, you know that's when you start turning the page on this one. You get ready for the next game. But, I don't want to take away their joy. They need to have some joy. They need to have some fun. And, and they did today. And um, they embraced the day. Two big swings of the bat played at six. We pitched very well off the mound. We brought some, uh, you know, some big fastballs late. Evan and, and uh, Joel obviously showed they're healthy. Barris got three and four hitters again to get out of seven. So it was a good day for, for the Pirates. Any temptation to keep let Meek hit and keep him in there? No. But you talked about that 05 being your favorite opening day. That was a team that had four guys making their opening day debut. Uh, this one had three position players plus a pitcher. I mean, it, it, reminiscent at all in terms of the, the youth on the teams and, and the excitement over how, how the game was won? Well, yeah, a little bit. But I, I don't want to – I've seen a lot of things in the game. Opening days are special. This was, this was significant in its own right. You know, four and a fifth. Then to, to back it up with two in the seventh, really two swings of the bat changed. You know, there was a lot more at it, but the two big swings of the bat. And we pitched better um, than probably, uh, oh, we pitched better than they did today. So it was good to see our core group be involved. And it was good to see a guy that we brought in from the outside get off to a, to a good start here. So, again, one game, we win the day, we'll get ready to play them tomorrow. You had the shift on once, but was it wind or miscommunication, or what happened with a couple of those balls that dropped on the infield? I believe, I just believe we misplayed the balls. I mean, the catcher shouldn't have to come 15 feet out in the grass to catch a fly ball in the infield. It happened in spring training a couple times, and it shouldn't. It better not continue to happen up here. So that was disappointing as anything that happened. And uh, I do believe that we've got to work with Pedro on some of that a little bit. Thanks, Thanks Clint. Clint. You're welcome.